Good evening folks, uh, this is just a random uh, eBay unboxing video uh, for you this evening and uh, I'll apologise from the start and say that this video won't be for everybody uh, this is just a box of electronic components so if that's not your bag let us say I apologise uh, but I thought it'd be worth uh, going through it, uh, having a quick look at what came in it and um, you know just showing you what you can get uh, on eBay uh, when you buy a job lot um, I'll tell you how much you paid for it at the end um, so I've already been in here and there was a lot of loose components which I've, I've kind of sorted through um, so we'll go through those first I won't open the boxes but uh, this first box we've got some BNC connectors uh, some inductors of chokes and uh, some PCB you know self adhesive standoffs these are really handy um, when I'm doing projects um, <clears throat> The next box has got um, various things in it, lots of polyester capacitors, some electrolytics, um, lots of PCB uh, connectors of various types, some of them quite high density as you can see, uh, some uh, header pins, uh, some crystals and crystal oscillators and yeah, some surface mount crystals as well uh, and a few more caps in there again. But onto the, the main box itself. Um, quite a few things in here. Um, there's a few sort of proprietary uh, cable clamps and uh, you know shells and stuff like that. Um, these will probably never get used. I'll probably just uh, put those into the recycling uh, or stick them on eBay and resell them if I can find out the the, the you know the part numbers etc. Um, RJ uh, eleven six way. Um, you know, phone or data uh, cord, uh, surface mount resistors, 50 kilo ohm, um, <clears throat> some little uh, crimp connectors there. Um, there's a couple of packs of resistors. I thought I had a couple of packs of resistors. Ah, yeah, 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 a couple of packs of resistors, probably. A few hundred each, uh, 910 ohms, and I, I don't know what this is. Um, 133 or something like that. Yeah, a few hundred each of those. Uh, got an RJ45, um, you know, it's a LAN port uh, surface mount uh, faceplate to go on a, you know, a standard uh, surface mount box. Got some form of uh, edge connector, fairly good quality. I mean, in fact, really good quality. Uh, with a nice little sort of keyed, uh, or almost bayonet sort of locking mechanism. Um, yeah, I mean that's far more advanced than you or I will probably probably use. But yeah, it was in there. Um, some more chokes. Um, a couple of What's that? 24 way PCB mount uh, screw terminals. Yeah, they're, they're quite hefty. A bag of uh, crimp type uh, terminals. So they're quite handy for you uh, doing a project that's in a, a metal case or enclosure. Uh, quite handy for bonding uh, your earth, earth wire onto. Um, got some. What's that? Six way. Uh, ribbon cable type connectors, crimp connectors. Some more Molex type crimp connectors. I use quite a lot of those. Um, there's some aluminium PCB standoffs. Um, or, you know, not necessarily for PCBs. You know, you use them for uh, again enclosures and various other bits and pieces. Um, I've got four bundles of this um, woven or braided uh, sleeving and I do use this in, in my projects where possible because it, it makes your, your project look so much uh, more neat and, and professional looking uh, and what you do is you basically get your, your wire and uh, tape up at one end into a nice bundle um, and then just uh, you, you, you basically push this down and it, it winds up to about double the size uh, put your wiring through it and then once you've, it's all neat and tidy and you've rooted it where you want it, just pull it tight and then like a few cable ties and it just makes it really neat and professional like I say. Um, various uh, bags of different types of components. 
massive bag of uh, split washers or spring washers. So again, they're quite handy. Uh, a couple of tubes of uh, uh, dual line packages. I'll just read those out for you. I don't think it's focusing very well. Those are HEF 4001BP and it also says HSS 8501R2. Uh, don't know what those are off the top of my head. And these little uh, XEL23 uh, surface mount packages as well. Uh, I really love uh, capacitors, surface mount, um, big bag of uh, cable markers, big bag of uh, presumably transistors, uh, Texas Instruments E5828, uh, 200 of those, or maybe slightly less, the bag is open. Uh, three little miniature sort of banana jacks. Um, a couple of rotary switches. Um, I don't know how many way those are. Um, probably ten way, I think. Maybe maybe twelve way. Uh, half a dozen or so little uh, keypad membranes or you know self adhesive keypads with uh, some Asian um, uh, text on it. Um, it might be come in handy for something a little uh, you know mock up of a project or something something that's not going to be a permanent uh, you know not not to use them permanently but basically to test it and then get something uh, more you know basic where it doesn't have the Asian uh, writing on it. Um, massive bag of um, rubber grommets they're quite handy as well and some seven segment LED displays and uh, these are all manufactured as you can probably just make out by uh, Hewlett Packard and they do look fairly old um, there's no sort of date codes on here I don't, that I can see don't think so but these look uh, of quite an old vintage um, and the pin configuration is not uh, you know what you, you'd expect to see uh, when you buy a seven segment LED display from say uh, AliExpress or eBay something like that um, and the other item I got as part of this uh, I bought a couple items from the same seller and the seller combined all the postage which is really nice was this box of uh, 500 uh, 2200 microfarad 16 volt uh, electrolytic capa uh, capacitors uh, Nippon Chemicon, so actually fairly good quality. Uh, and that is a full box, let's say, of uh, 500, as you can see there, uh, still on the tape. And obviously, these are on the tape, uh, and these can be fed into a machine. Uh, for those that you don't know, I know I'll be teaching some of you to suck eggs, but you know, there is machinery and equipment that will actually, you know, you load this in and it will populate a bare PCB ready for wave soldering, etc, etc. Um, now, I do go through a lot of these when I'm doing um, fixing people's TVs because it's always the, uh, well, as you're probably aware, it's always the, the capacitors and the power supply that tend to fail and it's a very, very cheap fix. And the amount of times I, I take stuff to the recycling place uh, and I see stacks and stacks of uh, LED and, and LCD TVs and you just think, you know, probably 90% of those TVs just need, you know, two or three pounds worth of components inside them and they'll be working again. It's quite uh, quite annoying. <laughs> but yeah, so when I'm buying these, I used to just buy them in, uh, as I needed them um, and they go and rate on eBay. It's normally about five. When you're buying sort of fairly good quality ones, it's normally five for about three three and a half pounds so uh you don't need to be carl vorderman to do the maths and and see that that's probably around to me about three or three hundred and fifty pounds worth of uh, capacitors in there um but i did not pay anywhere near 
uh, that for all that stuff you've just seen uh, in this video uh, it's the whole box of capacitors and all those other components and various bits and bobs uh, including delivery cost me 40 just over 14 pounds uh, let's say the seller uh, kindly combined uh, postage i didn't even need to ask uh, they just did it and sent me the invoice uh, so just goes to show uh, there are bargains out there on ebay and there are sellers who will uh, you know true to the word sell stuff with no reserve and when it does go for a cheap price they don't complain they just send it out to you because i have had in the past i've bought stuff uh, cheaply and you get the excuses from the seller or oh, it was advertised elsewhere or you know we can't locate it or it was damaged you know that kind of thing uh excuse central uh, so it is nice to see that you know let's like say that they, there are people out there that will sell it uh, to a cheap price um top tip uh, if you're bored on a weekend or whenever um and you like to buy stuff like i've just shown you this evening um if you just go into browse categories on ebay uh, and go to business office and industrial i think the category is and there's a subcategory in there which is i think it's electro uh, electrical and test equipment or something like that and if you just filter that by ending soonest uh, that's when you, you see the bargains and see things that people haven't really bid on anyway guys let's like say that the start i apologize if that video wasn't for everybody uh, i thought some of you might find it interesting um, if you did as always please give me the thumbs up and uh, if you feel inclined to do so subscribe and i'll see you soon for another video take care and all the best